What's going on guys, Culprit here, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about the weapon we possibly might be getting with the Naval Strike DLC. Now, why do I say possibly? Because we don't know. It's all conjecture, it's all looking at the images and trying to theorize what weapon that is. And, and there's pretty large agreement on it. And as I was doing yesterday's video, my first look on the DLC images that we just got recently released, I started to do some research on the weapon, and it just kind of had a couple interesting ideas that I wanted to talk to you guys about, and it would have made a long video even longer, so I decided to spin it off in its own video. So as I, uh, as I set out to do my research, I read some forums or Reddit, seems to be a lot of agreement that this is the ARX-160, and all that's coming from this image here, and yes, I'm going to point out that he is holding the magazine and firing with a phantom trigger, I, you know, if this isn't Battlefield 4 quality control in a nutshell, this is their promo image they put out, the guy is A, shooting his buddy in the back of the head, using an ACOG with goggles, <laughs> <laughs> and then holding the magazine and firing with a phantom trigger. I, that's just, I, I find humor in her. But nonetheless, I was excited to kind of take a look at this weapon because I feel like it really does fit pretty well. First of all, you'll notice it's very, it very looks very similar to the SCAR line of weapons. Um, and I, I've told you before, I really enjoy the way that weapon looks and stuff. So this one you know, really kind of appeals to me. Uh, this It also has a couple characteristics that I feel really would match very well with Battlefield 4 and what we've seen DICE liking to do. First of all, it has a grenade launcher system. It has the GLX-160. It's a single shot grenade launcher. It can be underslung or standalone. Obviously, that fits in very nicely with Battlefield 4. Uh, this weapon also is a modular assault rifle. It could very easily be adapted to be used as an assault rifle, carbine, or even an SMG, possibly if you kind of stretch your imagination a little bit, which I could see DICE doing. As we know with the ACE line of weapons, they like to have these modular things with the same kind of weapon, and then they just kind of remake it a little bit for each class. It probably saves them a little bit on work, as we know they love to do. And it kind of, I kind of like it though, because it kind of gives some real world, it kind of feels like variation, you know, same weapon system, and then you just modularize it to your needs. Uh, with that said, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about what I would really like to see them do with this weapon and make it truly unique. Because as you know, as we keep adding more and more weapons into the game, they become less and less unique. Because you can just really, all you can do is tweak the variables. Uh, and you can't, you know, you put a skin on it, which is you know, individualized. But then how the weapon performs is kind of hard to really make them all unique. So what I'd like to really like to see them do is give this weapon some real basic stats. Now, in real world, this has a 700 rounds per minute fire rate, which I think is pretty good. It hit that area there. Maybe a little less a little under make them kind of vanilla stats don't make them excellent at anything make it a jack of all trades type weapon and then what i would like to see you do is to make this weapon truly unique and actually have quite good utility and value is allow this weapon to be changed while you're using it so take away the, the idea mechanically for me is to get rid of the changing fire modes don't allow people to change different fire modes it's just full auto all the time use that kind of changing what is it the v key uh, on pc anyway i don't know what it is on console what you do is then when you would hit the V key, it would fold the stock. So basically you're running around, you've got an assault rifle, it's got a certain set of statistics when the stock is folded out. But as you're about to kind of storm into a building, you're going to get into a little more CQB. You could change the hit the fire mode button and that will fold the stock in. And now this weapon is going to operate either as a, like a carbine or an SMG. It depends on how you want it to go with it. And you're going to have the benefits of that. And, and I, right off the top of my head, something that would be cool is as you fold in the stock, Basically, it would improve things like hip fire and on the move accuracy where you don't have to be standing still, but it would give you a penalty to ADS uh, accuracy as far as a little more recoil. I, I think that's should be, you know, you should be able to do that within the game. And then obviously, as you're departing the building or you're in, entering into a more open area, you could hit the same command and it would fold the stock back out, which would then improve your ADS thing spread and accuracy and also make the recoil a little bit more manageable. I think as long as you kind of could balance this property, which I know is a big caveat with Dyson in, in regards to that. But if you could do this, I think it would give this gun a truly unique personality. It would make it a pretty fun tool to use. But you'd have to make sure that the stats, you know, you couldn't do this on Ace-23. Because if you gave the Ace-23 that functionality, the, game, the gun would be OP. Nobody would use anything differently. But if you made it kind of a vanilla type gun where it's kind of middle of the pack, that added utility of being able to switch back and forth would really kind of raise it up now. Now, now you're not going to excel in any one gunfight, but you're going to have this kind of Swiss Army Knife Jack of all trades weapon, which I think would be pretty neat to try to see how that would fit in and how much people would use it and how they would use it with that said you know kind of going off off of that idea you could pretty easily then make this weapon if you wanted if you didn't want to make it kind of literally on the fly in the game modular you know a changeable like that you could easily make this gun usable as a assault rifle obviously a carbine and as well as an smg i'm going to put an image up here this is quickly how i would see you doing it Obviously, the top weapon there would be the carbine. The middle weapon would be the assault rifle, and the bottom one would be the SMG for the engineer class. And there you go. You have your kind of 
you know, your simple platform that crosses through all the classes, but then it's just customized to fit the better roles. I think it would be pretty easy, pretty cool to do, and it just fits really into what DICE has been trying to do at Battlefield 4 with those common, common weapon platforms through the different classes. So let me know what you guys think. Is that kind of on the fly, switching the stock and, and changing the stats of the weapon on the fly in the match? Is that something you think would work? I'm just spitballing here. I'm not trying to tell you that I know how to design a game better than anybody else. I just thought it was a cool idea as I was making the video yesterday, so I wanted to spin it off and have a discussion with you guys focused on that. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. Do you think this is going to be the ARX 160 weapon as, as everybody's kind of theorizing, or do you think it's something else? Uh, please let me know down in the comments. Like always, guys, really appreciate your support. I will talk to you soon. Take care.